Hello my soccer universe, as you can tell I'm still in the finding phase of figuring out how I position the camera for videos where I have a little bit less backgrounds. But we're talking about the Austria Bundesliga, first video kind of back from vacation, review video, although I did all the uh, European competitions uh, first. We were yesterday in the stadium for another last win and I gotta say uh, having now seen especially the last two home games it really looks like it's coming slowly together. Uh, what looked a little bit disjointed at first and there were a few downs uh, as well, especially uh, first game in vacation against Tirol where it was only a 1-1 away from home. Uh, that didn't look good, but ever since there were some changes and you know, young Elias Havel, Sasha Horvath and so on, it's coming together and it's looking actually like becoming a team. And I think that's quite promising to say and I'm quite pleased to do that. Um, I will focus on the most recent round, although I give you the highlights from the past uh, two rounds as well, but you know I've made community posts while being on vacation, so if you want to uh, catch up there, please check the community uh, page and you will find my posts on the Austrian Bundesliga uh, there. Uh, just a few highlights, I mean I already mentioned uh, Lask's 1-1 in Tirol, a team that had not won yet and you were lucky to actually get that draw. Uh, most notably, Elias Havel came on for his first Bundesliga game and scored on his first touch, youngster. And he actually has been a live wire, which I'm very pleased to say. Um, we saw a uh, destruction of Rapid Vienna at Blauweiss Linz, who really have defensive issues. And Salzburg actually totally took out the steam of Hartberg, uh, steamrolling them at home. Five uh, one, then uh, more. Defensive troubles for Blauweiss Linz on the, a week ago. Salzburg actually winning, I think, a little bit lucky at Wolfsburg, uh, who suddenly find themselves in bad form. Lustner losing a derby at home to Altach. And for me, uh, Altach are at the moment a team that may actually be pushing for a top six, but another relegation candidate. It's maybe still early doors, but looks quite con con convincing. However, if Klagenfurt keep, keep up the good form, Winning also in Hartberg 3 uh, 0, I think they probably will be the number six team. Uh, Alltag will have to hope that Austria Vienna doesn't get it together. Um, Lask very convincingly over Austria Wien. I have, I have to say, a game I watched in um, on, on vacation at, at, at the beach at our balcony, uh, you know, having a nice pizza, having the wind, watching the sea, watching Lask. Could not have been more perfect, and actually, the last performance was really good. Two very nicely played goals. So uh, I was very, very, very pleased. And then uh, Tirol also stole a point from Rapid, which I did not expect because I think Rapid had, had overall really good showing so far, especially after they played Fiorentina. But I think that is what conditioned. Uh, this a little bit. Rapid is very much up and down at the moment, having some brilliant performance where they look like potentially the second, if not uh, third for sure, best team of, of the league, but they are also dropping points with the virus, be it, um, you know, having European compromise and not probably having a squad to actually uh, make up for that. So watch that space as well. But let's go for the past weekend and I want to talk about yesterday's games for Lusk. That's the first thing and then we'll talk about the other games. Um, it was great to be back in the, in the stadium and you could feel, I mean, it was probably the smallest crowd that they had this season. I think vacation, not a good uh, opponent in Austria Lustenau. Uh, but in a way, it was kind of a little bit more cozy, a little bit more relaxed because it has so many people, you know, you cannot get to the concession stands very nicely. So that actually worked at least for us quite quite well. I think it was roughly a, a little bit over 10,000 people were there, which is still a good showing for us because I can remember Bundesliga games with much, 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 much less uh, people. So, but I guess the new stadium also. You also had the euphoria, you know, still they're playing Liverpool and then there's the big downer uh, because they played in Mostar with the, uh, with the pink jerseys. Unexplicably so, really unexplicably so. Um, except for, you know, <laughs> the sponsor is demanding those. Uh, the fans decided to make a boycott with active support for 19 minutes and 8 seconds, because last was fun in 1908. Um, and it was eerie, the first 20, uh, 20 minutes, because the uh, Lusk 
fans didn't do anything and the Lucena fans to the credit didn't draw, do, didn't do anything either they were just a little bit at, 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 at the beginning but then they also were completely quiet it was an eerie it was an eerie at atmosphere so I mean if there was some clapping coming it came from the other sense but they are not coordinated as well so there was a little bit yelling here and there a little bit clapping here here and there but nothing else really really weird However, as I said, the game, it was one of those where Lask was chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, creating chances, but Lucena always, they were defending well, they were very well or, or organized, and I think they only wanted to get, get out, out with a point here. They were not even looking for a win, although they had a few, <laughs> a few half ch uh, chances, I think they didn't even have a shot on goal the entire time, uh, but it was a game where I saw especially my wife and my younger daughter, they got really frustrated with, with, with the game, because are they gonna score? But I told them, I think they're actually playing really well and I especially like what Sasha Horvath was doing, uh, winning balls left and right. It's just that the final pass, especially from Sasha Horvath, uh, 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 found it was not coming. I also found that uh, Robert Schuller, our captain, who has been our best player probably this season so far, but he also had a few where I think he wanted to be too cool, you know, uh, not... He wanted to show that he's he is a better player, so a little bit show offy instead of um, really trying. But other than that, I think they played really well. It was just in the final third; it did not really work. And then they score finally goal uh, around the hour mark uh, with a young Elias Havel coming on a brilliant goal with a back heeled in. You know, he was kind of surrounded by the fans and back heeled was in. Would have been a very brilliant goal. We were all celebrating or already, you know, the whole shebang. And then I see C3 play and say, oh, this may be offside. And of course, VAR come up. By the way, the last one still playing a uh, sign, VAR Fanculo, like that one. Uh, and of course, it was offside. <sighs> then Luciano did everything to break the rhythm. It took a while to really get going. Uh, and then it came a corner kick. And she has heads it in, and then lay, laid on my wife was really begging for a second goal. It came Elias Havel in stoppage time. Elias Havel ran, ran through and going putting, putting in after Lustano with their only real chance in the second half, putting it right over the goal. As I said in my preview video or my Lustano video, it should be three points. That's all I needed. It is three points, and it all looks good. Um, let's look at the other games. Um, Blau weiss Linz got a win at Tirol, who just had got two points, two points of Rapid at last. And then the lose at home to Blau weiss Linz. First win for Blau, Blau weiss Linz. They actually have scored more goals than Lusk this season. However, they also have conceded 18 most in the league. Hartberg completely destroyed Wol 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 Wolfsburg. And that's not uh, three losses for Wolfsburg. And two at home, not looking good at all. Four for, for, for them. And this was a team that actually... Looked over quite nice, I gotta say. Uh, the scene was, of course, as the Hardwick president Anal, a uh, self made woman in, in a way, went to the fan block, gave them 300 euros so they can hydrate themselves because they were all in, 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 in the sun. Alltag are really reeling. They actually really had Sturm right where, where, where they were with them. They were knocking on the door. And then Sturm scored the first goal. Uh, individual brilliance and then Walter get the deserved equalizer only for Sturm in the uh, stall in, in stoppage time to win it all that must have hurt um, Austria Vienna only managed two to draw after the two losses I think that um, it was probably uh, deserved it should have been it was a late 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 draw most notably the either one one equalizer for Austria Klagfurt was one of the craziest goals you will ever see because it was cast just slap slapstick. An Austria Vienna defender wanted to clear for a corner. The other defender said, No, we don't want to have a corner. Saves it off the line into the path of a Klangfurt player, Karo Karawina, who uh, one time said into in internet. Absolutely weird stuff. And then Salzburg, without being brilliant, uh, win it 2 0 against Rapid. Uh, undeservedly so. And also a weird scene, there was a fight in the fan block of Salzburg. And the Salzburg players wanted to move in and then the coach said, come out. That was for me the highlight of that game in a way. And so in the standings, and now it takes a little bit of shape after six rounds, we have the top three from last in Salzburg, Sturm and Lask. 
And it's probably in that order because Rapid have dropped too many points. Klangfurt still unbeaten. That's actually quite quite good. And on the bottom, there's also a little bit of movement. Uh, I think it's always good to look at the expected regular season standings. It's uh, very much reflecting what we said before. I think the top six from last year at the moment are set to be the top six this year. With Austria Wien like teetering on the edge where maybe Hartberg, Wolfsburg, Alltag could go in. Let's see. How this will uh, go, and um, for the final season standings, uh, same thing with Austria Wien just ahead of Klangfurt still, but we have to see how Austria Wien are developing. In the next round, after the international break, last game actually a rather tough game against Austria Klangfurt away from home. I really hope this will be a win. Uh, we have the big one Sturm against Salzburg. We also have a relegation to be Lusten and Tirol. blau against Alltag should be one too, but let's see. Uh, if how that will pan out. So yeah, that's it from me. Please like, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.